What's up, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Um, real quick, I just wanna let you know that I'm going to look at a new truck. I told y'all I wanna upgrade my truck and I um, have some cash on hand now. Seeing this good deal, going to check it out now. It's a 2500 HD, or no, it's a 1500 HD. So not a 2500 like I wanted, but it's just a screaming deal and I can't find anything on Facebook Marketplace for under nine grand that's worth anything. But a 1500 HD will be way better than my V6 2002 Dodge Ram because I think towing capacity is like under 4,000 pounds and these 1500 HDs towing capacity is like 9,000 pounds. So it's just gonna be way better. And I'm still gonna plan on using my landscaping trailers or I might upgrade to a double axle landscaping type trailer build, but with metal walls and just try to find one of those and hold off on the dump trailer for a little bit longer. And I think this truck will be perfect for that. We're gonna go check this thing out. I'll try to get some footage of the truck. And if I buy it, obviously give you guys a full run around. Need some work interior wise and cosmetically, but I'm fine with that. That's why it's kind of a better deal because it does need some work cosmetically. But yeah, let's go. They say you don't need it if he would write in there or something. Or if you leave it blank on the money so we can put less money. All right, so it is the next day now and I ended up not recording when I was buying this truck. I bought it, so update. I bought the truck, but I'm starting to think it was a mistake. I'm gonna show you guys here in a second what it's looking like. Before I even show you, this was my mindset of when I was purchasing this truck. Obviously, it's cosmetically not, need some love cosmetically. There's scratches, stuff, stuff there's some rust. It definitely probably needs a paint job. The headliner's all messed up. Uh, the seats definitely need probably to be reupholstered. But since my uncle works at a car dealership, a buy here, pay one, they get cars from the auction and they have the hookup on all that i could probably get the interior reupholstered and the headliner done and a paint job all done for under probably like a thousand dollars all together and i was fine with that i would have sunk another thousand dollars in this truck if i knew that was the only problem before we sink into what i actually think might be wrong with this because i brought it to my uncle's mechanic today and he looked over it and pointed out a lot of stuff that could possibly be wrong with it before we jump into that though i'm going to show you guys what the truck's looking like and then you guys can let me know what you think about it but yeah let's check out the truck real quick all right, so it's a 1500 HD. I think I already said that, and but it's definitely got some scratches. Probably needs a paint job. Definitely needs some bed liner. It's missing this handle back here. Um, tail lights are original, so those would definitely need to be changed out. Um, not too bad though on the side doors cosmetically. Like there's not too much paint damage, but this is where it gets ugly front end. That's definitely, that's pretty much all screwed up. So that would be, be probably replaced or honestly, I'd probably just keep that. I'm not trying to roll around with a pretty truck. It's just a work truck. And then when you get under here, this is something I noticed today when we got the truck in uh, better lighting because we bought it at night. It looks like there's some sort of leak down here. I wish I would have noticed that when we were purchasing it. We didn't even notice this. This is why you probably should bring a mechanic when you go to buy a new vehicle or not a new vehicle, a used vehicle. So that's the outside. Not pretty, but... When I was purchasing the thing, like I said, I wasn't worried about how pretty it looks because it's a work truck and I can get a paint job done for like 500 bucks from my uncle's guy and you can hook it up and make it look like brand new. But yeah, these are the back seats. Not too bad, but it doesn't look like it's the original carpet or doors. I don't know why this isn't matching up. That's uh, definitely a little sketchy red flag there. This is the front. Looks like someone was getting in and out of this. That was probably a little bit heftier guy and probably just ragging this up. That's what I was assuming. And then this is also a red flag. This is not matching this. And I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but I'm assuming it's not. And then the dash is like peeling up here. And when you scratch it with your fingernail, it almost like starts peeling. So yeah, definitely beat up. It looks like this was taped on. And then after driving it home, that pretty much just flopped off. Headliner definitely needs some work. But yeah, and then now let me tell you uh, what happened when you brought it to my uncle's mechanic. All right, so as you can see, it's... It's beat up truck, but I didn't care about that when I was buying it. I just wanted a reliable truck, and that's what I thought I was getting when I purchased it. Thought I was getting a truck with 125,000 miles on it. It could be, but I'm starting to think differently. Let me uh, explain why. Today, when I brought it to my uncle's mechanic that has been in the business for 50 years and looked over it, he said, there's definitely something wrong with, I forgot which part he said, in the right and both wheels that controls the steering the one of the arms that goes to the wheels needs to be replaced i'm not i don't remember exactly what part he said it was but he said it wasn't expensive it'd probably be like 150 bucks to fi fix both those parts in the front end then he pointed out that leak on the side and i don't we don't know what that is so that's a whole nother story but then we got under the truck and when you shift it in from reverse to drive it makes kind of like a clack but 
So did my Dodge, and I wasn't I wasn't really thinking too much about it. The mechanic hopped under the truck while I shifted it into reverse and drive, and he figured out that it's the back end, like the, I don't know, I think it's called the drive shaft that goes to the back end, has a lot of play in it, and he thinks the back end probably would need to be rebuilt or replaced, and that's pretty expensive. And then, when I brought it to my uncle's dealership this morning, he looked at the title and everything, and looked at the truck himself and noticed that it says exempt and doesn't say the exact miles on the title, which is kind of sketchy. So that means someone could have taken this dash out of a truck with 125,000 miles and slapped it in this truck. And who knows, this truck could have 200,000, 300,000 miles on it. I'm kind of getting nervous now because it looks like it might. The wear and tear definitely does look like it has that amount of miles. But I was really just going off this guy's word, hoping that the truck was just beat, a beat up work truck, but had low miles because that's all I was looking for was a truck with low miles that I could tow these trailers around. And it being a 1500 HD, it has the tow package, the heavy duty shocks in the rear end and uh, drive axle or whatever they call it that helps it tow. And the transmission was recently replaced. You can tell when you get into the truck, it's somewhat newer, but I'm getting concerned now. I'm thinking I'm just going to dump this truck. I'm going to get rid of it. I might just try to clean it up on the inside, pressure wash it, and just list this thing and hopefully get my money back out of it. If I take a loss, I take a loss. Yeah, that's the situation I'm sitting in right now. It looks like this guy pretty much just pieced this thing together just to get it good enough to where he could sell it to me. Because even on the ride home, I was feeling the truck pull to the left or to the right a lot more, and I had to pull it back to the left. Couldn't really tell that on the test drive because we were just in the neighborhood. But when I got on the highway and had to drive it an hour home, I noticed that. Then I noticed when I hit a bump, you could feel the whole like back end kind of wobble and then it straightened back out after a second. The truck's just sketching me out right now. And I think someone's lying somewhere about it. Something's just sketchy, especially with all this stuff not matching on the inside. And the dash looks like it might not even be the original dash. And I just really don't know what to do. So I don't want to screw someone over selling it to them like this. I'm going to pretty much tell them what I think about it. Like the dash says 125,000 miles and the title says exempt. So it could be more but i bought it thinking it was 125,000 miles and the truck just has too much work for me to do and i'm just going to get rid of it i think that's what i'm going to do so i'm probably going to lose money here this is a big rookie mistake i definitely took a fat l here i should have brought a mechanic or someone that knew a lot about trucks and i was buying this thing because we skipped over a lot another thing i checked the oil and the oil's black so that's just a red flag there that the guy that owned this truck wasn't taking care of it wasn't changing the oil when it needed to be changed it literally says uh, oil change the, the oil needs to be changed when you turn the truck on there is a bunch of red flags that i just missed honestly i was just made a rookie mistake like i said and it's probably going to cost me who knows five hundred thousand bucks just trying to get rid of this thing because i just am really coming to the point where i, I don't want to sink a bunch of money into this truck to make it the way i want it those are my thoughts i just want to update you guys and warn you if you're going to go get a used truck bring someone that knows what the heck they're doing because i feel like this is going to cost me a lot of money and i I could just keep the thing and try to ride it out, but say it blows up on me, then I'm out like all my money. So I'd rather just get rid of it while it still works and try to look for something a little bit cleaner, a little bit more reliable. And next time I go to buy a truck, I'm bringing a mechanic and I'm not gonna go at night where I can't really see the thing and get under it. And I was literally looking at it with my flashlight on my phone. Yeah, it's my mistake, but you live and you learn. That's all I got for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And like I said, I hope you learned from my mistakes and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.